right in the UP. The scores are in, the highlights are captured, and now it's time for the fifth down. Welcome into the fifth down. I'm Jake Durant. I hope everyone was able to stay warm and dry tonight while taking in all of the great high school football action that was on tap in week eight. Our game of the week was held in Ishpeming. The Hematites had a huge night welcoming in Iron Mountain as they looked to sec secure a spot in the postseason. It was also their annual breast cancer awareness game homecoming and senior night. So a lot was going on for the Hematites who were in their home pinks to honor breast cancer awareness. The Mountaineers wanted to spoil their homecoming party. First quarter, Ishpeming getting things started. Preston Goffier going to take the snap. He's going to dart left, and he's got some space running through a couple tackles. And he scores a touchdown to give the Hematites the 8-0 lead. Iron Mountain going to answer Joe Kalavecki. He's going to drop back and throw a dime to Matthew Kalavecki. That is a big gain there. That gets the Mountaineers inside the five-yard line. Then a couple plays later, Braden Farah going to take the handoff and punch it in. And that's going to make the score 8-6 Ishpeming. Let's go to the third quarter. This is the tail end of a great play made by Luke Wolf. He's running hard and he's going to leap into the end zone and make it 22-8 Iron Mountain after a successful two-point conversion. A bit later, Mountaineers back in the red zone and it's Vara once again. The Mountaineers, they take care of Ishpeming tonight, 28-8. Well, I can tell you right now, Ishmael gave us all we wanted there in that first quarter, quarter and a half. Uh, give our kids credit. They responded, uh, made some plays as the game went on. Matthew Kolvec had a great run right before the half. And in the second half, we were just being able to settle down on both sides of the ball and along the offensive line, defensive line, and just play better. Simple as that, play better. But again, uh, great high, high school atmosphere tonight. Uh, the weather, the weather is what it is. We'll play anyone, anywhere, and uh, that's... Uh, just a uh, good night for Mountaineer football. Let's make a very quick stop in the west side of Ishpeming. I don't love that snow. It's just too early for that much snow, but it didn't slow down. Barker River Harris running back Vincent Martin. He's going to dash through the snow for this long run, which will end in the end zone. The Broncos, they come out on top, beating the Patriots 34-6. Moving on now to Marquette, the Midland Chemics were in town to take on the Redmen. Midland up 7-0 in the first quarter. Marquette trying to get something going. Jackson Jermu going to drop back the pass, and he's going to throw it up into coverage. And this ball is going to be picked off by Noah Wall. That's going to hope the Redmen drive. Let's jump to the second quarter. The Chemics, they came with the right formula for success. Jason Davenport with a quick pitch to Jalen Brown. Brown making it look easy. 14-0 Midland after that long touchdown run. Marquette's defense making some plays in this one. Davenport going to drop back the drop back the pass, and he's going to be surrounded by red jerseys. Kyler Young and Xander Marshall team up for the sack. Then on fourth down, Brown going to take the handoff, and the Redmond defense will not break. Callen Smith going to come up with a big tackle for the turnover on downs. But on the very next play, Jermu going to drop back the pass again, and he's going to be picked off by Merrick Hawking. Midland going to take this one 28-6. Let's head west on US 41 to Hancock, where the Bulldogs were hosting Calumet. Copper Kings already up a score, and they're going to take or add to that lead with this run by Braden Nelson, who gets over the goal line before, before the ball was knocked loose. Still in the first quarter, Calumet knocking on the door again. Garrett Peterson going to dive in the end zone. 20 to nothing, Copper Kings. In the second quarter, Calumet just, just going to keep it going. Nelson, again, he's going to break a long run. Good luck cut, catching him in the open field. Calumet rolls 38 to 6. Just some light snow following, falling down during the Nagani and Houghton game tonight. The Miners showed why they are ranked the number one team in 11-man football. Kyla Carr going to get to the outside, and he's right, or hits, or he gets hit right on the goal line, but he's going to fall into the end zone for six. 7-0 Miners still in the first quarter. Carr going to get the handoff again, and this time he's going to slice through the middle. He'll find the end zone for the second time, 14-0 Nagani. In the second quarter, why not go to him one more time? He takes the pitch, and the car is going to get his third touchdown of the game. This one was all minors, 48-0 over Houghton. The Gladstone Braves were downstate again, taking on the Gaylord Blue Devils in a battle of two, of two five and two teams. Third quarter, Braves leading 8-6. That's Cole Putchy going to get free, a nice move for the 31-yard touchdown. Two-pointer is good, 14-6 Braves. Back come the Blue Devils' final play of the third quarter. Tyler, Ty Benzinger 
going to get through the line and then goes in for the 20 yard score. Two point pass is good to tie things up at 14 going into the fourth quarter. But the Braves going to respond. Nate Young engineers a 73 yard 10 play drive. He'll take this one for himself for the touchdown. 2014 Braves with 722 left on the clock. And Gladstone going to go on to win this one 22 to 14. A few more scores to pass along. Kingsford takes care of Hopkins 46 to 7. And the Escanaba Eskimos get a road win over Alpena, 46-21. In the Eastern UP, Sault Ste. Marie wins their homecoming game against Petoskey with a shutout, 22-0. Let's go to Powers for some eight-man football. North Central hosting Norway. Luke Orzinski going to set the tone early. He's going to run over a defender. Touchdown, Jets staying in the first quarter. 14-0 North Central now. Norway going to get on the board. Tyler Newins going to fight for a score from a few yards out. 14-6 Jets. Now the Jets, they can score in a variety of ways, and this time it's going to be Dylan Rabb taking the direct snap. Rabb going to see the middle open up, and he's going to turn on the, well, the Jets, and he's into the end zone to extend North Central's lead. And we started this highlight reel with, Lorzins with Luke Gorzinski, and we're going to end it with Gorzinski. Check him out, just running through tackles, juking defenders left and right. He had a couple of these runs tonight. Just unbelievable plays here by Gorzinski. The Jets win big, 68-8. to And one more eight-man score, score for you tonight. The Newberry Indians shut out the Pick, Pickford Panthers, 41 to nothing. Well, with the snow.